Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy bringing you your daily divine spread for today, the 28th of August of 2020. Or, of course, whenever you watch this video, the message will be important for you. I do hope that you're all doing very well. I will be talking a little bit about the astrology after the tarot reading. Just letting you know that the moon is now in Capricorn. Uh, emotionally, we've got to be strong. It's a couple of days because the moon will be passing over Jupiter, Pluto, Saturn in Capricorn. This is strength of character. So we may need to have to be strong for someone else. Take on the leadership quality of Capricorn. Okay, let's see what's going on today. I'm going to take a love reading, relationship reading, nevertheless. So, you and them, you and him or her, okay, you and the other person. So, let's take, and I feel I need to cut the cards once more. What's the message, dear divine? What does the other person bring to the table? What do you bring to the table? Let's look at you first. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant. We have the Four of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune, the King of Cups, and the Magician. Okay, just um, wanting first of all to wish all of you out there that are having your birthday, dear Virgo, happy, happy birthday. We've got Mercury here, which rules Virgo. And Gemini. Mercury is transiting through the sign of Virgo. It's racing through there. So it's a very good time for communication, obviously. Mercury is very strong. Um, and of course, Mercury is all about logic. Okay, so here we've got we've got Earth, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we've got air which is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sagittarius with a Wheel of Fortune, a lot, a strong water sign here, so some of you may have strong water in your chart, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and of course, as I said, Virgo, Gemini with the card of Mercury. Okay, let's look at the other person. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Nine of Wands. Looks like the other person uh, is having trouble. Is having trouble figuring out what they want to do. We've got the Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. We have the Moon. So Cancer, Pisces. And we have the sun. That's interesting as we've got the sun in Virgo and Mercury transiting through the sign of Virgo. So this could be talking about the timing of now in the time of Virgo season. Virgo Libra I'm going to say because we've also got the Queen of Swords who is usually my Libra card. Leo is very uh, prominent here. As I said, Cancer, Pisces. We do have some fire here, Nine of Wands. What's at the bottom of the deck? We've got the Four of Cups. Oh, wow. <laughs> the Four of Cups just fell so we could look at what's beneath it. And we've got the Ace of Wands. We know that the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Wands is so much about uh, having the passion, you know, having that drive to 
manifest okay fire is all about manifestation let's see what the black moon astrology cards want to tell us today Wow, and we've got the lunar eclipse and change. Interesting that I'm holding the cards upside down. I pre-shuffle always before I open cam, but the lunar eclipse and change, which we've had recently, um, did come out in the reverse. I have to take it like that as well. Now, lunar eclipse, we know that this is eclipsing something out of our life. I was looking at the fact that we've got the moon and the sun here, and both sun and moon together do mean a lunar eclipse. So something is trying to change, okay? There is a shift here. Something needs to end, to, be, to shift, to um, come out, to move away from our life. This is a 43. 43, of course, is a uh, 7. Again, Cancer rings strong here. Let's have a look at the Lenormand. So what's interesting here is um, that you're coming from a place of heart with the King of Cups here on your side. You're open emotionally, open for this connection. Um, some of you that are not in a commitment, this is what you're wanting. You're wanting to commit. Uh, we've got the bear here. And the bear speaks of strength of character. This could be a mother as well. So what I was saying was that, yes, you're already open emotionally for something stable. Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant, you're wanting marriage. You're wanting commitment. Okay, but I do feel that you've been trying so hard. There is exhaustion here. And there is a pause where a break has happened. A break where there has been no communication. We've got... On the other side, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. The other person is looking at their investments. They've been looking at how much time, effort they've invested. Um, but they don't know what to do. They feel trapped by some sort of a situation. There is fear here, but this is their perception. And we've got an Eight, a Nine, and thank goodness we've got the Queen of Swords here, which can mean that... Um, yes, there is a lot of worry. It's as though this person has put their wall up. They have been looking, trying to see things in a, like what adds up, what doesn't add up. They're seeking the truth as well as they're a little bit in the dark as we've got the moon card here. But the sun does bring clarity, it brings healing, it brings um, someone is open. And what I mean by that is they have the understanding. They've been soul-searching, I would say, more than likely. They've been fighting whether they need to go with their heart or go with what, you know, what makes sense and what doesn't. Now, with the moon card, again, it's a card of fears, but the sun comes through. And I do feel that if there hasn't been any communication, things change this era, this chapter has ended with the Wheel of Fortune here, okay, and you're ready, open and ready to give. The King of Cups is someone that's selfless, right? Let's come back to that. Let's see what else we've got. We've got the Stairway. So this can mean choices. I usually call this card the Stairway to Heaven. So there is a choice. It is a fated decision that needs to be made okay as there are two doors here okay so someone needs to stand strong just as I was saying with Capricorn and what's going on there and now also the moon is like emotionally doing the hard work maybe having to make that important decision whether we will come open and ready to communicate truthfully the sun is all about truth, 
okay the Sun and the moon of course the eclipse is where the Sun shines on the darkness of the moon it gives us clarity now we're going to have a full moon in the sign of Pisces on the 1st or 2nd of September depending on where you are so that will be interesting the next um, next three four days what's going to happen let's see and we've got the girl next door we've got a very earthy sort of a person very good communicator she is holding a book so she could be an author she's the girl next door she's the very grounded person one that is very patient she's not fiery she's more earthy so she's very practical there is an a on the card here and of course if you are if you are the divine feminine this could be you if you are interested in a divine feminine then that's them of course so you can flip the reading around the way you want it the way it suits you and we've got the snake here so the snake does speak of jealousy wisdom transformation the hidden uh, enemy but also anything to do with shedding that old skin and I also see this as the forbidden fruit so the forbidden fruit so this could mean that this is a connection where someone is married okay we don't I mean we've got the card of Leo here which can mean children the other person may be a father or a mother okay or this could be any restrictions around the mother and the father we've got the moon which is the mother the Sun which is the father okay okay and here we've got of course the Wheel of Fortune which is Jupiter Jupiter brings fated changes but Jupiter also can mean divorce separation those of you that are coming from a marriage nothing's been happening here there's been exhaustion it is a fated time of change where you may be connecting openly with your heart speaking your truth okay mercury is all about communication communicating the truth mercury is information okay it's it's also short distance travel let's take more cards let's have a look at what's going on in the romance angels now we know that the Queen of Swords could be someone that's trying to I don't know bring in the balance and the harmony for everyone Queen of Swords usually Libra ruled by Libra uh, is the, you know Venus rules Libra so therefore this is someone who's trying to bring in the harmony and the balance maybe they're not making their move until they can see that there is a chance through whatever restrictions because we've got the eight of swords the nine of wands these are restrictions right these are possibilities that the wall is up there's too much fear so they could be someone that's very you know calculative doing the math but with the moon card this could also mean that they've got strong emotions where there are fears yes but also strong intuition so they're probably trusting in the, their intuition rather than what the um, you know what they've understood to be true or what their logic tells them because sometimes if there is no logic an air sign will not move air signs protect themselves they they're worried because they've been hurt in the past so let's see what's going on in love we have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together if this is not a honeymoon this is someone maybe traveling over water maybe at some point this felt like a honeymoon there was a lot of happiness here a very strong connection it will be different for all of you and then we've got deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship 
so there was deception that's probably why deception or not being open emotionally to connection also wearing a false self mask not speaking truthfully okay someone hasn't been speaking truthfully about how they feel or there's been deception yes someone's kept the truth and let's see what the outcome is we've got codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life so obviously it's got to do with situations situations that have kept someone from speaking their truth codependency can also speak of fear okay it is very Saturnian now codependency and addictions does, does say that things have been happening over and over again here remember we've got the card of jealousy we've also got the mice here and the mice can be a nuisance Wow look at what's beneath the deck free yourself it's time to take back control of your life remember the cycle I was just talking about someone feels imprisoned in a situation it could be the time of Capricorn all those tough energies in Capricorn what is beneath that playfulness so uh, what I feel is that there was a good era a good chapter in this connection but then came in what came in lies deception the truth not being told because of codependencies whatever they are restrictions from family from a marriage from the mother and the father anything to do with business as well money um, and therefore we've come into a cycle of having to do things over and over again the positive thing here is that we've got the lunar eclipse and change so change is happening finally just wanting to mention that on the other side the other person um, we do have an air sign here which could be a motherly figure okay um, so I was talking about the restrictions we do have children here Queen of Swords could be a mother as she's sitting right next to the moon so could they be in a commitment you can flip the reading around and see how it speaks to you obviously let's take now more cards we've got the four of cups here which is usually a missed chance ace of wands a lot of desire and passion but this ace of cups behind their backs they can't see it they don't even know that this offer is on the table and we've got the um, knight of swords here which is coming through with a lot of anger uh, quickness okay trying to put things straight here maybe a conversation that needs to be had because of an imbalance which hasn't really happened because of the four of cups someone was not willing to have that conversation let's have a look and of course that knight of swords because it holds the scales this could mean that someone needs to move towards a separation but they have not done that let's have a look at on your side I want to have a look at that four of swords we have got the card of Gemini and the lovers so yes okay Gemini strong here this is a strong connection this is a very fated love relationship okay and Gemini again is all about good communication four of swords is not communicating let's have a look at the um, the Hierophant and we have the two of wands two of wands again a choice but also someone ready to walk through that doorway this could also mean the restrictions could have been the lockdown where someone's trying to make a choice maybe to move physically um, two of wands usually does speak of Sagittarius maybe being at a distance from the other person two of wands again is does that person is that person free to walk through that doorway or other restrictions around family so this is in the position of you 
the restrictions of family, money, tradition, maybe even self-worth, because Taurus is all about self-worth, especially having Uranus moving through there. Let's have a look at the Ten of Pentacles. And we've got the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands, right? This is usually a card of conflict. We do have... We've got usually in the traditional tarot, this person is up against the wands in front of them. Here he's turned his... She's turned her wand to another area. So she's pointing her desire to another area, not where she's been successful, not where um, she knows there is recognition here. She's succeeded in that. Now she's on a new path. She's looking elsewhere. Okay, and her desires are showing in a different direction to what the family situation, Ten of Pentacles, is a family card is concerned. Now, the hanging man just fell out. I was going to take it on the Wheel of Fortune. There is change, but what this says is that someone needs to keep their faith. The wheel is turning, okay, as there is change and a cycle that is ending. Maybe you have surrendered because you've obviously put in your, your best foot forward, but you've had to wait. It's all about timing here. Let's look at the King of Cups. And we've got the Empress here. Wow. So the Empress does speak of manifestation. She speaks of expansion and growth. Okay, so it could be that the Empress is where you're coming from. This could be you, another side to you. It could be that the King of Cups is the person that you're dealing with. Could be a Pisces, a person that the change is coming through. So because we've got the Wheel of Fortune, I do feel that this connection, King of Cups, is ending here because there's been a lot of sacrifice and we know and I'm not reading reversals king of cups could be someone that's selfless or could be someone that's very deceptive we do have deception here for those of you that are dealing with another person I don't think that this is the person you're looking at you do have a choice here now the Empress again the mother okay she's the provider she's very nurturing giving she's all about balance she is very Venusian Let's look at the, the Ace, which is Mercury and the Magician. Now, we know that the Empress is very abundant and gives, always gives, provides, provides nurturing to everyone. And that could be the burdens or the codependency that you're coming from. Let's have a look at the Magician. And we've got the Four of Pentacles. Wow. So not communicating for whatever reason, not being able to move forward because of money situation. We've got the Miser card. Three cards just fell out. <laughs> I will take them on your side. We've got the Page of Cups, which can be a child. This can also be an apology, a, an offer coming through. We've got the Ace of Pentacles, which is something stable, long-term, that you've been w w working, wow, that you've been working towards. And this is the devil, again, the codependency. So, yes, money issues. We do have two Aces here, but we've also got Capricorn. Capricorn and Saturn does give the rewards once the work has been done. Capricorn does give us long-term uh, practical things, tangible things. So we've got the child and the elder here, which means we, we know that pages are always students. So this may have been a harsh lesson where love is concerned. It looks like the offer is coming through, but it's not it's not an easy offer to come through. As you could see, this page in this deck 
does look as though they're retarded, they've been through a lot, there could be issues that are stunting their movement. Okay, let's have a look at the other person. Let's look at that Seven of Pentacles. And we've got the King of Pentacles, money issues. They could be having money issues. King of Pentacles is my Taurus card. Doesn't have to be. For others of you, this could be just someone that wants something long term. Could be a father, someone that's already invested in a uh, commitment, okay? And they're, they haven't been through an easy time. Money issues worries, um, imprisonment, maybe even having put up their roles, putting up their that roller door, closing that door, nine of wands, having been put through the ringer, having gone through a lot. Let's have a look at the eight of swords. And we've got the seven of swords. There is the deception. Looks like this king of pentacles did try to get away with something and they're feeling the wrath of the situation they're feeling guilt this is a guilt this is a guilty king here let's have a look at the nine of wands and we've got the eight of cups which means this king of pentacles if this person is in a commitment they're leaving whether this is a commitment or a chapter in their life where they haven't been happy. They're leaving this behind. They're leaving it in the past. Now, they could be leaving this Queen of Swords, yes. Let's have a look at this Queen of Swords as they do have their backs to each other. And we've got the World Card. And the World Card can be an ending of a cycle. It's been a long, difficult road, but there is success here. Now this can also mean that they're leaving this situation of the past where they've held back on their truth. This could be truthful communication with the Queen of Swords, successfully getting to the truth, and maybe the change coming through because of that lunar eclipse. Let's take the Moon card here, and we've got the Two of Pentacles. So a choice, again, going back and forth. The Sun is the final card here, which means that... The Sun is all about truth, clarity, healing, and coming through with the goods. It's the most benevolent card in the deck. Let's take another card. And we've got the Hermit. So obviously this person has seen their light. They've been soul searching. Okay, as I've spoken about this before, there has been soul searching here, digging for the truth. Now Virgo season, remember, this person has seen the light and what they understand is that truth is the most important thing and also looks like they've come to terms with their higher self and what their higher self and what spirit is telling them. Now, of course, Virgo. Virgo is all about looking at the details. Virgo is also about health, mind, body, and soul. Okay, because the sun is the soul. And I do feel that what they've understood is that this connection is very strong. This is true love. Let's take another card. Wow. And they're heartbroken. They are heartbroken. Remember, mind, body, and soul. And in this card, we've got someone that's had health issues. We know that the hermit can be an, a holistic healer, could be a doctor, okay? Could be someone that is a just an advisor. It could be someone that's very spiritual where they're getting their advice from trying to seek their truth. They've been looking for the answers. Okay, and it's interesting that we end up with, last card is uh, Capricorn here with the Devil and the Three of Swords, which can mean that there's still external factors that are affecting 
this connection. Remember the snake here. And we've got the five of pentacles. We've got three people here. Three people here, desolate, not happy at all. And we've got the tower. The tower is an epiphany. It's an awakening that after a lot of happiness, the tower has brought difficult times, money issues, an understanding that there is help out there, okay, because the Five of Pentacles is usually where two people don't see help coming from anywhere. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I will take my handwritten cards and see what's going on here. Now the world card here could also mean that someone is at a distance um, with this lockdown, not easy. There's a lot of codependency. We're still working through the season of Capricorn. Where are we at? Obviously the other person is heartbroken as there are restrictions here. But don't forget that the, um, the hermit comes before the wheel of change, the fated wheel of change. So this person is still dealing with an ex anything to do with family this is still we're still at the three of swords here and there's still the hermit behind, standing behind the scenes one card just fell out on the codependency you are the love of my life you can put these messages on whichever side you like these are messages for specific people not for everyone I see pain and sorrow in your eyes. Please trust that I won't ever hurt you. Okay, so this is uh, in relation to trust issues, remember. And we have, I prefer to be friends. So someone is not able, someone is not able to maybe even speak their truth. The I prefer to be friends. That could be for those of you that you're dealing with someone that is single and this could be a knockback. Uh, maybe they're not being open about their true emotions. Let's take a couple more. We have, I'm married, I lied to you, I'm sorry. We have, I dreamt of you before I met you. So this is obviously a, for some of you, this could be a twin flame connection where they've already known, they knew that this relationship was coming to the fore, was coming into their life. And open your heart and talk truthfully to me. Talk to me. And there is persistence here. So we have 16, 25, 26, 2 and an 8. Uh, two and a six equal eight. Eight is Scorpio. Eight is also Leo, the strength card. We've got a lot of back and forth energies here. So that's interesting indeed. Very interesting. It looks as though the other person is still trying to make a choice. They're trying to come out of the dark. We've got the moon card here. Remember I said restrictions around family, the mother. The moon is all those things. But what I see, especially with this card, is that the lunar eclipse, and this could be the lunar eclipses that we've passed mid-year, there is change coming through. Um, and something is trying to change. We know that a lunar eclipse is a combination and ending. And Pisces is still here, which is a karmic uh, house, okay, the... Uh, 12th house is the house of karma, but it's also the house of completion and endings. I want to take one card on this. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. I just want to see what card comes out for that. And we've got part of fortune increase, and that came out in the reverse as well. So... The fact that the lunar eclipse was also in the reverse means that change is going to come at some point. We've got the part of fortune, which is a nine, the hermit, says increase, but it did come through 
in the reverse and it does look very much like the Wheel of Fortune. That's what it means in the astrology. It's got a lot to do with the synastry, how people connect on a very important level where relationships are concerned, but it's also luck. Luck. It says increase. Part of fortune. Luck is coming through, but it's going to come at a certain timing for each and every one of us. It's going to be different. All right. Let's take a message from Spirit, from the Lightworker Oracle. Let's take a card for today. What's the message? And we have Master Hilarion and Archangel Raphael. Oh, beautiful. Number 28. Let's read from the book. This is the first time that we take that card. Part of your divine purpose is to develop the power of your mind and use it for healing purposes. If you change your mind, you can change your world. Guidance and healing inspiration can come to you daily, helping improve your own life and the lives of others. Healing and opening the mind to new realities and possibilities are the gifts of Ascended Master Hilarion and Archangel Raphael. So it does speak of the mind a lot and looks like this person here is in this energy. So trying to make sense, trying to bring logic to a situation, I do feel it's got a lot to do with maybe even mind games of the past or even, and this can also be a misunderstanding over here I see, um, wrong information. That's probably why they're soul searching. They're looking for the answers and until they find and get their answers they're still going to be at the Three of Swords or their answers or their truth. Okay, So someone is trying to free themselves from a situation, from their bondage and it's time now, someone's getting ready to take control of their life and that is transforming their life. Remember, the snake that sheds the skin, very important time, very scorpionic. All right, everyone, I will leave it there. I will be looking at the astrology. For those of you that are interested, please stay on. For the rest of you, thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. I will be back tomorrow for your weekend read. Talk to you soon. Okay everyone, uh, we've had v Venus, Venus transiting through the sign of Cancer which is very sensitive. Venus is feeling good at home, it's feeling safe, secure financially. It's right, uh, Venus is right opposite uh, Pluto and that's going to happen in a couple of days but Venus has trined Neptune. Neptune moving through its home sign of Pisces. Now that can be a very magical time where love and connection um, and creative energies are concerned. But of course we know that Neptune can also be very magical. This could be a wild imagination where um, we may be seeing things unclear but what the energy is, this energy is like a really feel-good energy. This could be also messages coming from spirit in signs and synchronicity. So pay attention to that. Okay, um, we know obviously it doesn't have to be exact, but roughly it's happened about 12 hours ago. So you may have sensed this a day ago, a couple of days ago. We're still in that energy. Now, what's happening in a day? roughly. We've got Mercury moving through the sign of Virgo, trining over to Gem um, to Jupiter. Wow, what a head, what a brain today. Um, so Mercury through the sign of Virgo, which is all about the details, communication, logic. Jupiter in Capricorn, as I've said many times, is not that strong. It does, though, expand on everything it touches but it's more, it's a heavier energy because of Capricorn. So the truth, Jupiter is the truth, Mercury is communication. This is like being emotionally strong, 
maybe even connecting and speaking the truth, getting to those nitty gritty details. And this could be, of course, Jupiter is all about expanding our knowledge through communication. Maybe the little details make that bigger picture of Jupiter. Okay, so I, it's beautiful energy, absolutely. And as I was saying, in a couple of days, we've got Venus right across, exact, right across to Pluto in Capricorn. So, of course, Venus turns a little bit dark as Pluto is darker, energy more, it's more forceful. Pluto can mean jealousy, can mean um, deep connection, and an opposition is like a tug of war. Are we going to be sensitive and open to the details or not scared to look to communicate the details of how we can transform this love connection, how we can transform this project that we're doing, how we can transform this connection with our family member. Let's get deep, let's get open, let's get um, out of our fear and speak our truth. Okay, so that's how I see these connections. We've also got Mercury opposition, Mercury through Virgo, opposition with Neptune. Again, that could be a little bit of confusion, like a misunderstanding. So do take time and look at the details. Mercury is supposedly really easy communication. Now, it's interesting that uh, I think I'm already feeling that Mercury opposition Neptune. I'm um, trying to say something and saying something else. This can be like you know, some sort of confusing energy where you're tripping over your words, you're, there's lack of logic here, lack of understanding, maybe because there is some confusion. Now, whatever we're trying to create, because Virgo is very practical, and it's also very, you know, it's one step at a time. It's also the house of daily routine and work. This could be um, working hard, working hard to create something that's giving us a bit of a challenge here, whatever we're trying to create. Okay, Uranus is still, through, still moving through the sign of Taurus. Mars is still squaring over to Saturn. Um, those energies are still going strong. And uh, we've got some beautiful aspects coming in a few days. I will be back with more. Okay, where the astrology is concerned, I want to thank you all so much. Again, wonderful to hear your comments. I am going to be having a competition where there will be three winners. Look out for that. Um, the announcement will be made in the next few days. Get ready to take place as I'm giving three free readings, tarot readings. But I will get back to you with the details okay so sending you lots of love lots of light uh talk to you tomorrow namaste